Okay, y'all, I'm back with that part two. I had to uh, free up some space on my phone. <clears throat> Even though it was uh, it's 64 gigabytes, I had a lot of stuff on my phone. I had to free up some space. So I'm going to give it to y'all on part two. And where I believe I was, uh, allegedly, you know, you have to say that. I, I learned that from the master bloggers. Um, uh, I think I was talking about Clubhouse. Okay, <clears throat> I'm listening to this party, right? They're having a party, you know what they call a party. So, I get in, and uh, in fact, I, I seen it like on, on one of his, uh, on one of them dudes that he have on stage, he, he 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 uh seemed to be you know a real cool cat, and uh I know he don't be putting up with all that mess he be hearing uh you know, but anyway, so I get on the the clubhouse. I figured out how to get in after a day, so I go to talking. So. You know, I ain't blaming nobody. I'm just allegedly, you know, from what I see from grassroots level, because on that second floor, don't none of us know what's happening on the second floor. Then you got to go to the third floor where it's all, man, these people can look in your living room if they want to, man. So how are you uh, solving the case? But anyway, so soon I get to talking, now this young lady, she cut in. And she say, uh, are you the police? So really and truly, I don't know how to answer this question because I ain't never been called this kind of stuff. I ain't never been associated with this kind of stuff. So I really, I say, well, young lady, you say that uh, y'all do paperwork for it. I say, you know, uh, I ain't shame mine, so I'm on paper forever. You know, I said, you know, it ain't hard to look me up. I said, I ain't got no assaults and on the women and rapes or nothing like that. You know, I said, but you can look me up. I ain't, you know, it's public records. So then they had been talking about women's and relationships and all this stuff. Now, we supposed, they supposed to be talking about Dolph. I ain't listened to most of it. But I cut in right when they started on that relationship stuff. So homeboy cut in and he said, look, uh, man, we got to have some respect in here. Because I'm a little bit up under you in age. So I said, yeah, okay. I said, man, uh, I, you know, he really throw me off. Because I ain't disrespecting no woman. And I look at women as lioness. Really and truly to tell the truth about it. They the one carrying us. Not because they got more snap than us brothers. When you just really look at it. And I'm going to show you a proof on this clubhouse. What I'm talking about. I say. Allegedly. When this young man got arrested. It appeared to me. That they had whooped up on him. And I say, I'm ugly. Oh, the, then the homeboy, he hollered again. And uh, so the young, I'm going to show you how sharp these women is. She cut in and she say, he, he, yo, you, you, you know, we ain't talking about all of that. She cut in and she said, no, nah, wait a minute. What he talking about is, is how they did him in jail. And I hadn't even really went into that all the way, but she was exactly right. But this dummy, he's trying to figure out why he having a problem with his woman. And trying to solve Dolph case. You know, these, these characters, man. Okay. But anyway, okay. So now, what I'm seeing, I'm seeing a bunch of roaches, a bunch of gold diggers trying to, 
you know, get off their shots on Dolph Death. Now, you think I want to participate in that? And, I, and uh, I, if I ain't got no money, it's one thing I got. I got a word. And uh, I don't participate in foul stuff like that. You miss me on that. Uh, just like that other one. Yeah. Uh, payday tomorrow. Now, I'm going to tell you something about him, even though he tied tongue and all of this. It's one thing that I know. You see, we got the web, and then we got the dog web. And I understand that he done, he done been into the dog web because uh, it's some things that he say that I know he been in it. Because I, you know, I be in and out. And when one of them women told him, say, Oh, you call good money on the tsunami. He said, I don't know what it is I got. Uh, but uh, I predicted that dog. <laughs> I'm saying to myself, man, and that dog will be already to tell you to watch the water. Now you predicted something. Watch the water. Do you know? Okay. Do you know who protecting you right now in this country to keep it from being blown up? <laughs> the military. I ain't talking about the Republican military. I ain't talking about the Democratic military. I'm talking about them ones that swore on the oath to protect us. I'm not, because some of them don't care. Live, die, whatever. They don't care. And I'm talking about them ones that's going to live by their oath. And man, they got some stuff. Y'all wouldn't believe if I told you. And I done seen it. It's like Star Wars. Don't nobody want to fool with them people. Don't nobody want food with them people, man. I'm telling you what I know. And it, it sure ain't coming from no Democrats. And it sure ain't coming from no Republicans. And them people is taking care of all of us. It's a lot that they letting go on because they waiting on a lot of people to wake up. If... A lot of us would be them woke. They say if 85% would be them woke up, oh, they step in and straighten all this mess up. This fake scan you with other stuff and this and that and the other. But let's get back on these uh, these uh, private investigators. They call it, uh, what they call it, bloggers? I, I don't even know what that is. Uh, but anyway... Here go one, just like the night. Oh, he gonna be promoting some some old rappers with chains on them and all of this here mess, and they probably gonna be flaunting some guns. And I never have figured out if a nigga got 80 guns. No, make it more. Eight guns. He got to be built like an octopus. To shoot all them guns at one time. Uh, and when I was coming up. Uh, man. I wasn't scared of nothing. With a meat, meat asshole. And had to squat the shit. And. What do that nigga think. Pac meant. When he say do a bad shit in the woods. Man. I don't want to hear about them people lifestyle. I don't want to hear. They roaches. They roaches. Okay. Homeboy you want to see my face? Look at my face. Look at my face. You see me? Smiling. That, that old piece of gold. It's been so many years ago. 
that you see in my mouth, them dentures. Because um, I got out in 2003 on this last, last beef. That's my wedding band. That's where it's at right there. But anyway, uh, you got to keep this stuff. Uh, Y'all talking, and you're talking too much. You don't know what's on that second floor, boy. Or uh, boys. Y'all don't know what's on that. And I know where I messed up when I told you that I listened to Robert Ketcher Mason Jr. And uh, this is part two. I can't get hold of him. He don't. He said he was gonna drop his email. And that boy. Now I'm seventy one. That boy is raw. You understand? He up on he fooling with the second floor and the third floor and the first and the grassroot level. He fooling with it all. I mean, he ain't just on one subject, man. He ain't just on one topic, man. Whatever happened to uh, you was gonna do uh, what you call it? Some parties on uh, the lady son that got killed. Allegedly, okay. I'm playing, I'm doing like y'all not because I don't know nothing about this mess. But you want me to show my face? Here's my face here. I'm going to send this one to Grove Hero. This part two. But you rough hustlers. Riding on Dolph's name. You ain't got no name for yourself? I'm going to tell you something. Everybody I came up with is dead. There ain't but two of us left. To us, and we both 70, and we keep in touch with whatever. My brother, the last time I seen him in October, he was at my brother's funeral in October, and my brother, it was three of us, now it's two of us. Man. It's good publicity, what y'all doing. Y'all really ain't doing nothing. Oh, we done solved the case. Yeah, you solved the case, you don't even know what's going on on the second floor. Foolio. And that other Foolio. And that other Foolio. How y'all solved some kind of case? What you did, shed light? Yeah, you shed light. Pass somebody information around. Then gonna try to back door that hole. Then you then you got a old zug ass. You understand? Know oh, I tell you what, this and that, and I done got in touch with the right people, man. If you ain't got in touch with nobody on the second floor or the third floor, if you did get on the second floor, even if you out of that organization, it ain't too much you can touch, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You need to be on that platform every day. So, I don't know who you think you fooling. Then y'all always, I mean, on every one of y'all platforms, the first thing you want to know is a nigga or police. <laughs> Chief police. Then, you, you know, some of them weak women, because it's, Man, there's a bunch of them lying that's out there. They ain't going for that mess. But I'm talking about, it's you the police. <laughs> what the police come get from y'all? When they can look inside your house, inside your car, inside your glove compartment from the sky. You know, I know they listening to me. Now they know I know a lot about 
what they can and can't do. But I'm going to tell you this here. See, if they if they kill me, they can't eat me. You know what I'm saying? So then maybe they can. I don't know. And I don't had the best of my years anyway. So uh, it's like this here. Y'all don't want to listen to Grove Hero. He right in that mix. The man say he gonna make rounds using Texas dollar, Texas seven on your Texas way up. You know, he say he gonna make his rounds. He say he gonna stay there two days. But he also had another message. Oh, uh, he said, man. Y'all need to just put them guns down. Hey, y'all ain't listening to that. Oh, I'm going to fly in on a helicopter. Allegedly. On such and such a day. And I'm going to have Man, look here. Man, look here. You can fool some of the people, man, with that mess. But you can't fool all the people, man. Just get your little blogging, paper, gold dig, take it for what it's worth, and leave that alone, man. Then, when that woman y'all done put on Front Street, when she call y'all and tell y'all, you now you don't pass the phone number on her, and, and she say she's scared. You floated right over that, didn't you? I think you got mad at me when I mentioned Robert Ketch Ketch Mason Jr. He don't he don't have no comments. You can't contact him. And he say he might drop an email. And if he drop it, I shout out to that young brother. I shout out to your young lioness. A shout out to you young lions. Uh, all you got to show me is you got knowledge. You ain't got to show me your guns. You ain't got to show me no big old bags of weed and all of this here. Because I'm laughing. You see this here? You see this here video? You see this here video? <laughs> I'm, uh, that's seven pounds. I'm saying to myself, man, ain't no way in the world. <laughs> I'm saying to myself, man, when I'm coming up, ain't no way in the world. <laughs> we would have seven pounds of, of weed that you can fill up a whole laundry cart to make a little bit of money. Man, where I come from. Them people were trying to ride down on us for a little bitty package. So, you probably know what boy is and you probably know what girl is. I ain't going to think you ain't that dumb. But then, too, you might be. The way the, that boy broke you down about the Mexico laws. That might have been... The, Police you were talking to there. Did you ask him, was he the police? Did you ask him, was he off the second floor? Because you don't know nothing about that second floor. You better try to keep it grassroots, boy. Allegedly. He broke it down to you because you sure did have me, fool. I'm saying, oh, look at little friend. Look what it Then you come back. What you come back with the next day with a cleanup play? Man, people... All of this faking and shaking off of that young man death. Man, y'all roaches. Y'all roaches. And I'm going to tell Grove Hero, hey, man, these roaches still riding off of Dolph Death, man. You know, Okay, on the last video, uh, King Roach, um, 
if you uh I don't know how to do that subscribe like I told you. Oh uh, I was making video trying to talk to them youngsters before this even happened, then I stopped. But I was kicking it with a young man that got plenty of knowledge. Two of them. One of them gave me his phone number. I talked to him on the phone out of New York. And I told him. Because if you can get me to give you your card, boy, you got a card. And I told him, I said, man, look him. I'm going to tell you something. He know who he is. And, uh, well, I'll just tell you who he is. Ten told down. Probably somebody y'all had mashed on or something. I sh shout out to Ten Toes Down. I, I called him and I told him. And he'll tell you I called him and I told him on the telephone. I said, man, look here. I've been living 70 years. I ain't never seen nobody with over 300 people with red flags, yellow flags, Blue flags combined all together to try to figure out how to take care of the community. That was, that was the only time I ever seen that. I'm talking about in the building district too, man. And I was on a killer farm. I had to hang up my gloves because I was on a killer farm this last time. Oh, yeah, and I caught a couple cases now. So... Don't let the smooth taste fool you. Oh, uh, you don't have to invite me to nothing to try to clarify yourself and all of that, man. I was just trying to let y'all know my insight. Just like on that clubhouse bullshit. I see. I asked that young lady. She seen where I was coming from. And I asked, I see. you know, the only thing I'm hung up on in is how these two cars come out to be the same car. I say, can somebody explain that to me? Because I was kind of hung up till I had to, you know, on grassroots level. I'm staying on grassroots, man. I'm standing on that. Because I know, I know some things that be happening on that second floor because it, it happened to me. You know. But, look, look, Look how rough my hand is. Look. Look. It's like a lizard skin. That's the way you get when you get beat out and you have to, you know, and they trying to find out who was with you. And you get put in a cell after you get beat on this two foot by two foot, six foot, you can't even sit down in it. Locked in there. Drug out with lights put all on you. Now, I don't know if that youngster skin is tough as mine. I don't know. But I'm going to say this. I had a case. Well, I had a fall partner. I would have loved for them to bring us to court together. I would have loved that. I would have enjoyed that, man. I would have loved that. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. This grassroots level, you don't understand some old stupid shit. Let me tell you why. I got caught up in a situation where I didn't even know what was going on until I had a 357 throw it in the back of my head because of who I am. Then, when the script was flipped, I get called the mastermind or something I don't even know nothing about. But I ain't going to say what happened. I ain't going to say what's going on. Because at that time when I was coming up, it don't make no difference if you say this and you say that. They ain't going to let you go. So, in the process, going in and out of court and in and out of court, you know, different days, different days. 
Homeboy copped out for five years. <laughs> I just told y'all, man, I'm on parole forever. I just told y'all that. But you know what? When I saw and I had a paid lawyer and we finna start trial and they bring a fella in in a jumpsuit as the state witness. I ain't do nothing but start crying. So, what I'm seeing, I don't think for one minute, man, I don't think for one minute, I don't know what's going on with them young boys. And I'm not going to say what I think is going on. Um, but y'all, y'all keep seeing who's going to make the most money, you uh, master bloggers. What is, what is it called? Bloggers? <laughs> What you say? I got to see your face. What you think? I'm the police? Well, you see my face, nigga. And remember it. And they let it scratch you in your sleep. And another thing. Fear. Fear. What I told you, man. Nothing. With a meat asshole and got the squat to shit. Nothing. Shout out to Grove Hero. Shout out to Tinto. Shout out to Montana Wolf. Shout out shout out to Miss 504 Mouth of the South. She got two of them. She got a couple of them bloggers strained up. <laughs> Boy, that woman from Lou's Alley, she got them strained up, allegedly. Everything I say is allegedly, but from what I've seen is allegedly. She got them strained up. Oh, they were talking about how her son got knocked off and got killed and all of this, and she just let them talk and all of this, allegedly. The man died in his sleep. You see, you see, homeboy, oh yeah, homeboy, I ain't gonna forget you. Uh, you sneaking in and out of the deep web and finding out what's going on and you ought to wake these people up the right way because if we had all the people woke that's supposed to be woke or a high percentage of the people woke right now we wouldn't have to go through this mess and we wouldn't have to have the military just sneaking around and taking care of us with different kind of missions under the scene. Second flow. Second flow. How y'all gonna know what's happening on the second flow? I'm gonna show you how dumb y'all is. You a master bloggers and uh, record label promoters and all of this ill mess. Y'all looking at these youngsters go to court. <laughs> And the judge say, the judge say, do you understand, sir? You're going to have to serve 85% of your time. Yes, sir. Well, 
This is a nugget I was going to try to drop on y'all, man. Oh, they're going to just wait till the feds come in. Then it's going to be this and it's going to be that. Anytime you're doing 85% of your time, and you they ain't no parole till you do 85, man. What do you think that is? State time. If that was state time, let me tell you something. I still be where I just, where I come from in two thousand and three, man. If you had to do eighty five percent of your time, so what's up with that? Y'all come pick up on that. You know why? You ain't even straight in on the on the, on the grassroots level yet. That's what I was gonna just wake y'all up to. No, y'all so set on uh, capitalizing off of Dolph Depp. I didn't even know who Dolph was, but I done jam. I started jamming his music after the fact. Doing, you know. Uh, yeah, I started jamming his music. I like rap, but I I take that old rap, you know, like Tupac and you know Doc. I could dream them stuff like that. Yeah, I jam set all the time. But anyway, I'm going to show you how far y'all is. Uh, if it would have been, just just say, allegedly, if it would have been, A death on the other side, what they what y'all call the house. Guess what? Y'all been having parties and club house and all of that and all of this and all of that. Man, that ain't right, man, to be doing that on them people's deaths. You don't have no other kind of way to make money, man. You don't show the hundred bags of wheat. <laughs> Enough to fill up three apartments to make ten thousand dollars. And them people can look at your house anytime they want to. Man, why they don't say nothing? You know why they don't say nothing? Then you won't ask anybody, everybody who come on your program and they the police. Man, let me get off of here. This part two, I might do a part three after I listen to some of that dumb shit y'all gonna be saying. Both of y'all. I be switching. Y'all are main two. Oh, thank you for the cash app. Thank you for the cash app. Well, I don't even man, I don't even think I I know how to get subscription. But I'm just talking to trying to wake some people up, man. You don't do that kind of stuff, man. Especially when you be putting allegedly putting people in harm's way. Man, let me get up out of here because uh, oh yeah, I'm a gambler too. I gamble real good. I ain't no rambler. <laughs>